I'm John Batchelor, Mary Kissel, the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal and the host of her show at Opinion Journal each day at WSJ.com is here. Mary is a New Yorker. I am a New Yorker. We we pay a deal of attention to the mayoralty race, chiefly because, my opinion, Mary, these last 20 years watching from the bottom of the crime wave of the early 90s until now when New York is a pleasure and we are confident when we travel in New York at all hours and in Brooklyn and in Queens that the switch in in City Hall doesn't lead to trouble in crime. Crime. And that's been part of the debate in the mayoralty race so far in the primaries. The primary is won by Bill de Blasio, who is city advocate, is a man of, uh, is a man of integrity from the left. And much of the conversation since his easy, since his close victory in the first round of the primary, and now presumptive overwhelming victory in the general election because the polling is, he's more than two to one over his Republican rival. It's a Democratic city. Okay, everybody remember this is Tammany Hall. Marion. <laughs> We're not fighting Tammany Hall here. The question has been policing, and we immediately bring on our friend and my consigliere, Ed Hayes, who is an attorney in New York, a very good Democrat, watches carefully, especially the NYPD. Ray Kelly is a smashingly successful commissioner of NYPD, probably the backbone the hip bone, the knee bone, the ankle bone of the Bloomberg success these last 12 years. And the question of law enforcement is on everyone's mind right now. Ed, there is a rumor, actually I've seen it in print, so it's stronger than a rumor, that Bill de Blasio, understanding there are doubts about his understanding of thorough policing and the controversy of stop and frisk, is is mentioning names. And one of the names is a commander of the most excellent order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth I, otherwise known as your friend, Bill Bratton. And my client. I yes, and deal. your client. Yeah, let, let's be upfront about why this. Do we, why, are we, why are we smiling, Ed, at Bill Bratton returning to New York as police commissioner? <laughs> well, one reason we're smiling is I'm going to have round-the-clock police protection at my house, and my kid will have a squad car taking him to school. So. <laughs> all right, all right. Beyond the, uh, beyond the macro, Ed, what's the micro version of Bill Bratton? What is, he is, he, a, what is his he, reputation he is built? He's a Medal of Honor winner out of Boston. He is an ex- he invented modern policing. He's a very loyal guy, knows how to delegate authority, very much a visionary, and I think he's just what the Blasio needs. Now, on the other hand, Bill is the head of a security company now. He's making a very good living, and I'm not sure he's going to want the job, but he does love the perks of being a police commissioner. He does love the challenge. I'll tell you one thing. And now that they're putting such a regulation on stop and frisk, they're going to have a hard time controlling crime in the city, especially because of the disparity of income and the high rate of unemployment uh, amongst uh, people that aren't rich. So it, it, it would be a challenging time. I mean, if you look at the statistics, Judge Shinlin has killed a couple of people already in the last month. So. Uh, yeah, he would this be is a federal device. judge whose decision led to the suspension of stop and frisk, a very popular uh, practice these many years because it was seen as cutting severely into crime, having gotten guns off the street, and uh, especially helping people in modest neighborhoods where the crime was, uh, was it, worse. It, that's right, and not just a New York City, by the way, tactic. It's something that is employed across right. the country. Um, Eddie, I'm, I'm curious here. So does a, a Bill Brown make de Blasio palatable for independents and Republicans in New York? Yes. Short answer, yes. Okay. If, if he says he'll appoint Bratton and Bratton says he'll accept, it makes him very palatable. I, I would think that he's an overwhelming favorite anyway, but it would even make He him did say that, Eddie. I've, I've read that Bratton was mentioned right away, and he's now leading 65 to 4. Or oh, it's a, four, it's a 43-point <laughs> lead yes. in the yes. last poll and, this well, week. I, I mean, the question is... He he's probably made a phone call to Bratton already, so he probably knows whether or not Bratton will take it. I'm I'm going to check tomorrow. I tell you, John, I I will yeah I, I will call and find out tomorrow. And we'll keep it quiet until Ed wants everybody to know. <laughs> Bill Bill Bratton is a man who came to New York early in the first Giuliani term. This is 1990. Three was the election he took over in ninety four, the beginning of ninety four, and crime at that point, the West Side Manhattan, Eddie, that was not the bottom. You you fought through the wars in the nineteen seventies in the Bronx oh, into the nineteen eighties. I mean, but it was rough on the it was rough to live in Manhattan in the nineteen nineties. The West Side was really just 
you know, 9th Avenue, 10th Avenue, you had street walkers and junkies all over the place. It was awful. I mean, and the Bronx and these poor neighborhoods was just terrible. I mean, you know, you, you work like a dog and a working guy. Uh, you'd buy yourself a nice television and some junkie would come in the middle of the night. And, and Bratton, from you. Bratton came in. And what did he do for the NYPD that was demoralized at the time? Well, first of all, remember, he's a tremendous individual leader. He, like I said, he, won, he has the Medal of Honor. Right, you can't doubt his uh, personal courage or his uh, aggressiveness. And what he did was he enforced discipline. He made sure that uh, you had greater coordination between precincts. He did things like uh, he had a special unit to go out and find high prof- uh, high activity criminals who were parole violators. He just did a lot of very smart things. He's for- and he also had phenomenal. Uh, people around him. He had uh, John Timothy around him, Jack Maple. Uh, he had a, a, an Italian fellow whose name I can't remember, but who was very good. And he just he knew how to uh, recruit, promote, and uh, get the loyalty of very, very fine people. Eddie, you have, though, an extraordinary threat level in New York City, even today, these many years past 9-11. I refer you to the, the failed bombing in Times right. Square just a couple of years ago. Um, my sense is that uh, Ray Kelly has only been able to protect the city to the level that he has with this huge intelligence service that he's built up because he had the backing of Blue. Bloomberg, would Bratton really have the backing of de Blasio to continue that level of an intelligence Boy, effort so. in this city? Yeah. I hope so. I mean, remember, these kinds of intelligence uh, agencies are very intrusive. Whatever they admit to, they do 10 times uh, be, be, you know, be behind the scenes. So I hope so, because they, there's not a day that these people don't wake up and say to themselves, let's get it New York again. We know they're coming, Ed. Ed, right. uh, detail, is there an uptick in crime since yes. Shenlin? There yes. is. And there everybody is everybody can up. see it. There's a great article in the Post today about the uptick. And it's not in, in, uh, inconsiderable. It's a significant uptick. Ed Hayes, my friend and attorney, and also, most importantly, a man who represents Bill Bratton, who is very successful in private enterprise right now. He's worked in New York and Los Angeles and Boston as a police chief and a leader of the uh, police forces. But right now, prospectively, the commissioner of New York, uh, a police department, Mary Kissel, the editorial board, and of her own show at Opinion Journal, each day at WSJ.com at 1 p.m. I'm John Batchelor. Thank you.